Hey again, it's Christina from Sunshine and Flora. So it's been about a week and a half since I posted a video. We had some sickness run through our house. Um, so we're all finally recovered. So I'm back to making videos, which is great because I have a lot of things planned for not just the winter, but spring. Um, so in today's video, I wanted to show you guys a couple of things. The first one, I'm gonna be starting some more seed, which today I'm starting eucalyptus. The second thing I want to share with you guys is an update on my Lysianthus. So after I get this eucalyptus seed started, I'll take you downstairs to my grow light setup and give you an update on my Lysianthus. Um, but first, let's get this eucalyptus seed started. Um, so eucalyptus is something that I have not grown in the past, but I wanted to try it this year, not only for a filler, but also for the dried flowers that I'm going to be growing for some specific projects to use in the fall. That will be a whole separate video that I'll be doing soon. Um, but the eucalyptus that I'm starting today is called a baby blue eucalyptus. From what I've read, this is a really popular one to use in cut flower bouquets, also for drying. So I'm really excited to see how this grows. Um, now I just have 25 seeds of this. And so I decided I'm gonna start these all in one tray to start with. I'll see how the germination goes. And then once they get, um, you know, a couple sets of leaves, I will transplant them. So the tray that I'm starting them in, um, I think some mushrooms just came in this from the grocery store, honestly. Um, and this is a really easy way to start seeds if you're limited on space. You can simply just sow them throughout the tray. And then um, once you see quite a few of them germinate, then you can transplant them into something else. So that's what I'm gonna do with these. And now I already have my seed starting mix in here. And the seed starting mix that I'm using for everything this year is this Burpee Organic Mix. I tried this last year and I really liked it. Um, it's a very fine seed starting mix and it also has coconut core in it, which I really like because that helps retain moisture. So I already have this filled and I already have it pre-moistened. You always wanna make sure you pre-moisten your seed starting mix. That way, um, when you do uh, miss the top of it, which is what I do to settle in the seeds, they don't over settle and the soil doesn't cover them. So. My seed starting mix is pre-moistened. I'm gonna open my seed packet. And these seeds are pretty small. So I'm just gonna dump them in the palm of my hand. And then these I am just going to sow on top of the soil. So these are pretty small, so I'm just gonna try and space them out as much as I can. Okay, all the seeds are out of the bag and on the soil. Now, it is impossible to see where they are on here because they are black seeds and they are so small, but again, I just sprinkled them on top of the soil trying to spread them out over the container. And now I'm just gonna do a mist on top of the soil. Again, this soil is already pre-moistened, but I wanna miss the top of the soil just to make those seeds um, kind of adhere to the soil just a little bit. That's gonna aid them in starting the germination. And then I'm just gonna cover this container with saran wrap. I wanna make sure to get enough saran wrap to wrap around the bottom of the container so it all sticks together. Now for other containers that you can use, um, you could use takeout containers, the ones that have the plastic lids. Um, you could use the styrofoam containers like the hamburger or chicken comes in from the store. I used those last year for some Lysianthus. Um, but you can get creative and make your own containers. It helps you save money and space. So again, this was a mushroom container. And this is all ready to go. So I'm gonna take you downstairs now to my grow light setup. We're gonna get this put on a heat mat under the lights and then I will show you what my Lysianthus looks like. Okay, so I'm downstairs in my basement. This is where my entire grow light setup is. I only have a couple of things under the lights so far. So let me flip the camera around and I'll show you where these eucalyptus are gonna go and then I'll give you a peek at the Lysianthus that I have. Okay, so here's a look at where the eucalyptus is under my grow light setup. So you can see that I have it placed on a heat mat. This is a 10 by 20 heat mat that I got at a local home improvement store. You can purchase these anywhere and they're probably out right now because everyone is looking to start their seeds. 
and then I already have my grow lights on because the eucalyptus seeds were placed on top of the soil this means that they need light to germinate so once I see that most of my seeds have germinated I'll turn the heat mat off but they will remain under the grow lights until they go outside and then next to them you can see my lisianthus now I currently still have the humidity domes on but I'm actually going to take them off today because I think all of my seeds that are going to germinate have germinated. So these seeds were sown back on January 5th which is almost a month from today. If you've grown lisianthus before you know how slow they grow so they are still teeny tiny seedlings. But I can tell that they have grown especially in the last week. Now some of them it looks like I ended up getting a couple of seeds per cell so once they do get big enough I'll transplant them into the empty cells and I obviously didn't have a hundred percent germination but I am really happy with what I got lisianthus are pretty tricky to grow so anything is better than what I had last year so with these lisianthus seedlings they'll remain in these cell trays until they're ready to go outside I'll put a picture up on the screen of what they looked like last year when I transplanted them outside but these won't get put outside until May so they're gonna be in those cell trays for a really long time now I am not having any problems with algae on the soil yet but I'm gonna watch that as they go and if I do start to have problems I'll add a little vermiculite to the top of the soil to keep them watered, I'll either miss them from the top or as they start to get a little bigger, I'll be watering them from the bottom. I'll make sure to give you guys an update a little further along into the season, especially when I start to transplant some of them into their own cells. Okay, so that does it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing the update on my Lysianthus and then how I started my Eucalyptus. I think the next video that I post will just be a quick look through my whole grow light setup and all the tools that I use. And then after that, um, I will probably be starting some dahlias from seed, which I am really excited for. So stay tuned for that too. And of course, a lot more seeds starting through the winter and into spring. I'm really excited to get this growing season started. So stay tuned. We'll see you soon.